you for joining us for tonight's session, the second in a three-part mindfulness series we have been running this June. The next one will be on June 27th, and we'll focus on meditation to support and balance your energy. Tonight, Lauren Massey will present Release and Let Go, a session on movement meditation. Lauren is dedicated and committed to supporting others in their mental and physical wellness journeys. She studied psychology and public health at UMass Amherst and has a master's of public health from Boston University. She is a certified holistic health coach through the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. She founded Mindful Minis Boston in 2018 and offers mindfulness classes and private coaching. This session is being recorded and the recording will be sent out to participants tomorrow. But for now, please relax and enjoy. Thank you so much, Vicki. I really appreciate that introduction. I also see that someone's asking if the session will be, will be recorded. And as you just heard, yes, it will be, and it will be emailed to you directly. And welcome to Allison's daughter, who is joining for the first time. And hello to Kim. So let me go ahead and pin this, and we will get started. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, someone is asking if it's possible to get last week's recording. And unfortunately last week it wasn't recorded. So I apologize for that. It didn't, um, that didn't happen, um, but we will have access to this recording and in two weeks that recording. All right. So today we have about 30 minutes of movement meditation. Now, if you were listening to our meditation from last week, I kind of gave an overview of what meditation is. And basically what it is, is we are focusing on something, focusing on a single pointed focus um, that is typically not our thoughts, unless you were doing a mindfulness meditation where you're just aware of everything. You're trying your best to train your mind to focus on that one thing or two at the time, at that time. And this movement meditation is going to be wonderful for those of you out there, including myself, who have an active mind. Maybe you feel like your mind's kind of bouncing all over the place. You have a lot in your head, or maybe you just find it in general difficult to concentrate. Movement meditation is wonderful for that because you're using some of that energy in your body um, instead of just sitting still. So in most of today's meditation, we are going to be pairing a movement with a breath at the same time. So for example, say I told you to put your hands like this and say, we took a deep breath in and rose our hands up and then we flip them over and we breathe out. So that's an example of how we're moving and we're breathing at the same time. Now, the first half of today's class is going to be in a seated position, sitting down, whether you are crisscross applesauce like me on the floor or in a chair, that's totally fine. We're going to be doing movements, just seated down, sit, um, sitting down. And then for the second half of the class, we're going to get up. I'm going to change where the camera is, and we're going to stand up and do some movements like that. Now, I don't know of anyone's injuries or limitations out there. So I really want you to just focus on yourself and do some sort of modification that I suggest or skip something if you specifically don't enjoy moving certain parts of your body that I may suggest. Okay. All right. So the last thing we're going to do for this introduction is a sound check. So I'm going to turn on some music and please feel free to tell me in the chat if it needs to be turned up or down, or if it's good. Now this should be faint in the background. It shouldn't be battling with my voice. You should hear it. Okay. I'm just seeing a lot of good. Okay. Sounds like that's good then. Now these songs are really faint at times in general. And when they skip from class, from song to song, maybe there'll be a pause. So just bear with that. Okay. So we're going to get started in a seated position, seated on the floor or in a chair or if you're lying down, that's fine as well. 
And we're going to bring our hands to our knees or our lap to just rest so we're not wiggling around or adjusting where we're seated. And we can take a deep breath in. And as we breathe out, gently close your eyes. Just taking a moment, come home to your body. Transitioning from whatever we were doing before this class to be seated here with yourself right now. Checking in with how you're feeling today in your physical body and in your mind, but without judgment, just simply noticing these things, observing how you're feeling. However you feel today is perfectly okay and fine. This is a space for you to just be as you are. Be gentle with yourself today as best as you can. Now we're gonna go ahead and notice our breathing, bringing our full awareness to the air coming in through our nose expanding our chest and our rib cage on all sides and following the flow of that breath out through your mouth. Just the way you're breathing normally in through the nose and letting it go through the mouth. And the first thing that we're gonna do to begin to connect with our body today is to place one hand on our heart and the other hand on our stomach. And when we place our hands here, it helps us come home to our body. And what I mean by that is throughout the day, we have so much energy up in our mind. Almost imagine that as like this, tangled ball of yarn or scribbles up in the space above our head. And a lot of times when we're living in our mind, it can cause stress and anxiety because our energy is not grounded in our physical body. So breathing and placing a hand on our heart, Moving our body can help ground that energy down through our head and back into our body. Now, as we have our hands on our heart and our belly, this helps us concentrate and focus on our breathing. Let's go ahead and deepen our breath now in through the nose, keeping our shoulders where they are relaxed and send that breath deeper into the belly. And you'll notice that your hand over your belly will rise and fall. Deep in the breath, in through the nose until you can't breathe in any more sips of air. And then we breathe that out, let it go, fully exhale all of that air out until you feel this contraction in the belly. Full deep breaths in and out. Really elongate this slow breath in and slow breath out. And we're gonna place our hands back down at our knees. 
And we're gonna take a deep breath in. And when we breathe in, we're gonna hold our breath at the top for two counts. So this breath is gonna be four counts in, two counts holding at the top, and then four counts out. So I'll walk you through that. Breathing in for four, two, three, four, holding at the top, one, two, and breathe out slow. One, two, three, four. Breathing in again. One, two, three, four. Hold it. One, two, breathing out. One, two, three, four. Last one, slow, deep breath. Two, three, four, and hold it. One, two, breathing out. One, two, three, four, and relax. Back to normal breath. Now, we're gonna move into a little bit of gentle stretching. This is gonna help us kind of shake up a little bit and get moving any bit of stagnant stuck or icky heavy energy that's been kind of stuck in our physical body to just begin to do that so eyes open or closed whatever you wish we're going to begin to slowly nod our head yes looking up very slow And breathing through this whole thing, looking down slowly. And up. Continue to breathe. And down. Looking straight forward, we'll begin to kind of shake our head no, just very slowly, side to side. Looking straight forward now, moving on to our shoulders. We're gonna do a little bit of shoulder circles back. We're kind of bringing our shoulders forward, shrugging them up. Now really try to breathe here. <sighs> Big sigh out. <sighs> and reverse that circle forward now. Sometimes emotions get kind of stuck in our body and stress tends to affect our shoulders. So breathe it in and out and then relax them down, allowing them to naturally fall away from the ears. And now what we're going to do is make a circle kind of with our rib cage and I will move the camera so you can see this a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of bring our chest and isolate our rib cage to the side. And then we're gonna bring that forward and around to the left. And basically what we're doing is we're creating this circle. And this does help stretch our hips and our spine Good breathing. Good exhales here. You have your hands on your knees kind of guiding this. And switch sides. Now we're gonna go backwards the way that we came. Kind of rounding that back, opening up those shoulder blades in the back. <sighs> Big exhale and return to just normal seated position. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to try that pairing the movement with the breath 
with a, a hand movement. So let's learn the movement. We're going to have our hands closed like this. And this is gonna represent a closed flower that's going to bloom with our breath. So the movement's gonna go from closed to blooming open. Closed, blooming open like a flower. So we're gonna breathe in when we close and out when we open and in and out full exhale and in and exhale letting it go we've already stirred up some of the feelings and emotions inside of our body energy that's been sitting here and we're exhaling it out and imagine almost like a lily pad flower that's what i imagine or maybe you have a different flower that's coming to mind two more Good job. Last time. And now we're gonna place our hands back on our knees. Now, if you're feeling relaxed, that's wonderful. If you wanna slowly blink open your eyes, if they were closed, we're now going to get up and stand to do some movements while standing. But I encourage you to do this very slowly and gently, okay? So we don't feel lightheaded or anything like that, okay? So bear with me as I move my camera and we will get started on those stand up movements. you can hear me if you can hear me let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay All right. perfect so you can hear me well let me know all right wonderful okay so exhale we are standing up now and we're gonna bring our attention. We're gonna move from the squeaky spot. We are going to move our attention to our feet now. Again, our feet hold a lot of tension and it carries our body all throughout the day. So we're gonna bring our attention to our feet where they stand right now. Be where your feet are in this moment, be here now, rather than in our mind or in the future or in the past. Everything that you're able to control is in this moment right now, in the present. There's nowhere else you need to go, need to do, need to be. We're just here right now allowing our arms to hang by our side naturally, letting any tension or gripping go in our stomach, letting any tension in our face muscles fade away and soften. Take a deep breath in and breathe that out. And I want you again to bring your attention to your feet. And I want you to take some gentle, intentional steps, slowly pressing your feet into the floor. I want you to try to get every little centimeter of your feet 
onto the floor, making contact. Really simple, mindful steps in this moment. Slight bend in the knees. And kind of press a little bit gently into the floor, slight bend in the knees. Grounding yourself in this moment, feel your weight press into the floor and the floor almost push back at you. And stand up grounded in this moment, taking a deep breath in. Big exhale. Good. Now, we're going to do a movement meditation that is called Root and Rise, where we bend our knees a little bit. The movement with our hands is going to be kind of pushing the energy down into the floor, slight bend in the knees. And then we turn our wrists over and we straighten our legs, lifting up, rising up up to kind of our ribs. We flip those hands over and then we bend our knees again, slowly hinging at our hips. Feeling those feet press into the floor and we straighten and we rise up. So that's the movement. Now let's add the breathing. We're gonna take a deep breath in as we rise up. We're gonna breathe out as we root. Pairing this breath with the movement, breathing in. And root. Full deep breaths. And out. You're doing great, breathing in and out. Wonderful. Two more. Sending that air down into the belly rather than into the high chest. And breathe out one last time. Fully emptying out and straightening our legs, shoulders are relaxed, eyes open or closed, whatever helps you feel balanced and relaxed. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna step our feet out a little bit wider here. Again, feel your feet on the floor. And we're gonna start with a couple light kind of shoulder bounces, bouncing our arms. And we're gonna incorporate a little bit more of our hands. As I mentioned, we hold a lot of stress and emotion in our body. And we're just gonna bring a little bit of movement to shake that up. And just kind of flow with this on your own. And maybe you feel compelled to just begin to do light, move, light bounces. And let your shoulders kind of just flop around with your arms, shaking it up. And we're gonna incorporate some breathing. So take a deep breath in and let it out. Releasing and letting go. A couple more times, breathing in and let it out and we can rest. Feel that sensation in your calves. Feel the energy of your body kind of moving through like electricity. We've shaken a lot up and we're gonna breathe it out once more with another movement breath. So exhale. We're gonna to begin to do a sunshine breath. So we're going to learn the movement. We're gonna bring our hands up. Good. And if you don't like that movement in your shoulders, maybe even just do the elbows, just like this, okay? So the movement, our arms going up, 
we meet our hands at the top. We don't have to clap. And then we're gonna bring our hands back down together at our heart center. Shoulders are relaxed in this moment. Let's try that again. Arms go up, meeting at the top, fingertips meet, palms go together, and we come down to our heart center. Now let's try to add the breathing. We're gonna take a deep breath in as our arms go up. Big deep breath. And as we lower our hands down, we breathe out. So we've shaken things up and we're gonna exhale that out. Release, let go, be here in this moment now. Be thankful for yourself, for being in this class, for taking care of yourself and holding yourself gently in these moments. All right, ready? Let's begin. Breathing in, arms go up and then breathing out arms go down. We're here for a little while, breathing in, breathing out, fully exhale. Now I want you to go on your own rhythm or you can follow me, whatever is best for you. Low deep breaths. open or closed. Sending that air deeper into the belly. Letting it go. And if you need a little extra nurturing today, your out breath could be a Whatever you wish. Three more times just like this. at your heart center, feeling the, your hands, the meat of your thumbs <laughs> at your heart center. Imagine yourself, your own energy as a specific color, the first one that comes to mind for you. And I want you to imagine that that color is taking up all of the inside of your body and you're glowing bright. And as our hands are here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub them back and forth for a little bit. And we're gonna stop rubbing them back and forth and we're gonna open them just a little bit and notice the energy in between your hands slowly pulling them apart and then maybe bringing them together a little bit. Again, notice the energy in between your hands and pulling them apart. It almost feels like you are stretching something, breathing. And we're gonna take our hand on our heart and our hand on our stomach and what we're doing here now is we're charging ourselves up with our own energy. That was the energy you were feeling in between your hands. And we can do this whenever we're feeling anxious or kind of beside ourselves or looking at ourselves from the outside or stressed. We can do this to help ground ourselves. Feel your feet on the floor. 
Relax your shoulders and stomach. Relax the muscles of your face. blinking open your eyes. Sending some love to yourself. Really gentle. Sometimes we can be so hard on ourselves. I know I am. Just in this moment, just send some love to yourself. love you or I love myself if that's accessible or maybe we even say instead I accept myself in this moment or perhaps even in a different way I am willing to accept myself in this moment wherever you're at I am open to accepting myself in this moment wherever you're at Exhale and place your arms down by your side. And that is your practice for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit back down on the floor and see how you're feeling. So feel free to sit down with me as well. Sorry for that loud noise. Sorry if that hurt anyone's ears. All right. I'm hearing a this was awesome. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Let me know. I love movement breath. It is one of the best ways that I know to feel something sticky or icky inside or heavy inside like that energy. And then you're moving it around. You're letting it go. Yes. Let me see. Peaceful, relaxing. Time went by fast, more relaxed, peaceful, and loved. Wonderful. I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed this one. Those of you who are saying so. Yes, each week gets better than the last. Oh, that's that's wonderful. I'm happy, relaxed, comfortable in my body. That's so good. Extremely helpful and so reassuring. Terrific, movement makes a big difference. Yeah. A lot of times we, when we start to move, we do feel other uncomfortable sensations in our body. And I encourage you to do whatever you know that helps those sensations, um, take care of yourself, breathe into those sensations. You know your body best, far more relaxed. Yes, okay, so someone starts movement meditation in the, in the beginning of their day. Your three cats are relaxed. Perfect. Yes, they can feel the energy. I'm glad that this was um, for someone different than anything else they've experienced really helped like I did, um, like nothing I did today. Oh, good. Yes, I liked, I'm glad you liked the soft music in the background. Just what I needed. Yeah, you don't realize how tense you are until you shake it out. Yeah, that's what someone is saying. I totally agree. It's that's the thing. Awareness, mind like mindfulness is so one of one of the reasons why mindfulness is so good for ourselves is because awareness is required for us to alter or relax or take care of ourselves in any way. If we don't know how we're feeling mentally or physically, then we don't have that opportunity to do something about it. Wonderful. I just love reading these comments. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love meeting with you guys. Truly. It's such an honor. Um, I know that we're a couple of minutes over. 
these movement meditations always, actually all my meditations kind of run over in time. So thank you for being here. Um, is this something we can do at night when we can't sleep? Sure. If this is something that relaxes you and maybe that excess energy is keeping you up at night, go ahead. Yeah. What do whatever, um, movements, or maybe even watch this replay before you go to sleep. This would also be a really good one to do after work to release if it's, uh, you know, feeling sticky, icky, um, that energy that feels stuck. That's what I mean. This finally brought my blood pressure down today. Good. Oh, thank you guys so much. Okay. This was awesome. I love doing this with you guys. We are skipping next week um, because of Juneteenth. And then we are going to pick this up on the 27th, I believe. It's next Monday. Yep, the 27th. And that next one is going to be more of visualization, breathing, and energy movement. Okay, for our own energy. We did a lot, we did a little bit of that with the energy today. It was gonna be more of that. And you do not need to register again if you registered for this first one because you register for this series. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night. Thank yourself for being here. And I will see you in the, in two weeks. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, Vicki. Thank you so much for being here. All right. See you guys.